Okay, so welcome to Math Storia. Yeah? And let's solve this problem. So given equation of an ellipse, then find the coordinates of center, foci, vertices, and co-vertices. So from this given equation, and these are the steps to solve for this problem. So first, we need to group all x and all y. So from the given equation, group all x. We have this 9x squared, then minus 54x, then plus, so group all y's, we have 5y squared, then plus 10y equals, so this positive 41 transpose becomes negative 41. Then we need to factor out the coefficient of x squared and y squared, then simplify. So, to factor out this coefficient of x squared and y squared, so for y squared, we need to put this 9 outside. So, this becomes x squared, then minus, so divide this 54 by 9, so 54 divided by 9, this one is 6x, then plus, so this 5, factor out 5, so put 5 outside, so this becomes y squared, then plus, so this 10 divided by 5, so 10 divided by 5, this one is 2y, then equals negative 41. Then do completing the square. So in completing the square for x, so take this coefficient of x, this one is 6, then divide this one by 2, raised to the power 2, so 6 divided by 2, this one is 3, then 3 to the power 2, that's 9. And for y, so take the coefficient of y, that's 2, divide this one by 2, raised to the power 2. So 2 divided by 2, this one is 1, and 1 to the power 2, that's equal to 1. Then add these numbers to this equation. So we have now 9, then times x squared minus 6x, then plus, so for x, plus 9, then plus, so we have 5 times y squared plus 2y, then plus, so for y, plus 1, then equals negative 41. Now, take note that the number you added on the left side must also be added on the right side. Since for the equation of x, we add 9. And since there is a number outside, so we need to multiply these two numbers to add on the right side. So therefore, plus 9 times 9. Then from the equation of y, we add 1. But since there is a number outside, so we also need to multiply these two numbers, then add to the right side. So plus 5 times 1. Then apply factoring and simplify. So we have 9. Then to factor out this equation of x, so factors of x squared, this one is x times x. Since this one is negative, so minus n factors of 9, that's 3 times 3. So we have now x minus 3, then to the power 2. Then plus 5, so for y, factors of y squared, that's y times y. Since this one is positive, so plus, then factors of 1, that's 1 times 1. So we have y plus 1, then to the power 2. Then equals, so we need to simplify this equation on the right side. So that's negative 41 plus 9 times 9, this one is 81. Then plus 5 times 1, this one is 5. Then simplify, so we have 9 times x minus 3 to the power 2 plus 5. Then y plus 1 to the power 2 equals... So we have this negative 41 plus 81. This one is positive 40. And 40 plus 5, that's 
45. Then the right side must be equal to 1. So to equate this equation to 1, so we need to divide every term by this number on the right side. So divide every term by 45 to make this one equal to 1. Also this one, divide by 45. And also this term, divide by 45. Then simplify, since this one is 9, so we need to divide both sides by 9. So 9 divided by 9, this one is uh, 1, so we have x minus 3, then to the power 2 over this 45 divided by 9, this one is 5. Then plus, since this one is 5, so divide both sides by 5. So 5 divided by 5, that's 1. So we have this y plus 1, then to the power 2. Then over this 45 divided by 5, that's 9. Then equals 1, because this one is equal to 1. So this is now the standard equation of this ellipse. Then take note that since in an ellipse, a squared is greater than b squared. So therefore, in the denominator, the bigger denominator is a squared and the smaller is b squared. So from our standard equation in the denominators, so we have this 9 and 5. Then since 9 is greater than 5, so therefore, this 9 is a squared and 5 is b squared. Then since a squared is the denominator of y squared, so therefore this ellipse is in vertical form. Then since vertical form, so these are the formulas to solve for the center, vertices, foci, and co-vertices. But first, we need to find the values of H, K, A, B, and C. So to solve for the values, so let's start with H and K. H and K. So from the formula, so we have this X minus H and Y minus K. So from our standard equation, since this one is minus 3, so therefore H is positive 3. So H is positive 3. And we have this Y plus 1. So since this one is positive 1, so therefore K is negative 1. So K is negative 1. Then to solve for A, since we have this 9 equals a squared, so we need to equate these numbers. So a squared is equal to 9. So to solve for a, take the square root. So a is equal to 3. Then to solve for b, since we have this 5 equals b squared, so equate these numbers. So b squared equals 5, then take the square root, so therefore b is equal to square root of 5. Then to solve for c, using this formula, that c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. Then substitute now the values, so since a squared or a is equal to 3, so 3 squared minus d square root of 5, then squared. So we have now c squared is equal to 3 squared, this one is 9, minus, so omit the radical, minus 5. So c squared is equal to uh, 9 minus 5, this one is 4. Take the square root, so c is equal to 2. So we have now all the values, the h, the k, a, B, and C. 
So therefore, we can solve now the center, the vertices, the foci, and the co-vertices. So to solve for the center, so we have now center, that's h and k, since h is 3 and k is negative 1. So this is now the coordinate of the center. Then for uh, vertices, so we have this h, h is 3, then k plus minus a, so k is negative 1, plus minus a, a is 3, then we need to separate this one, so we have this uh, 3, then negative 1, plus 3, then the other one, that's 3, then negative 1, minus 3. Then simplify, so we have 3, negative 1 plus 3, this one is positive 2. So this one is the vertex. Then the other one, we have 3, negative 1, negative 3, this one is negative 4. So these are the coordinates of the vertices. Then for the foci, so to solve for the foci, we have h, that's 3, then k, that's negative 1, then c, that's positive 2, so plus and minus 2. Then uh, separate this one, so we have 3, negative 1, plus 2, the other one, 3, negative 1, then minus 2. Then simplify, so we have 3, negative 1 plus 2, this one is positive 1. Then we have 3, negative 1, negative 2, this one is negative 3. So these are the coordinates of the foci. Then the last one, the covertices. So to solve for the covertices, we have this h, h is 3, then plus and minus, b, b is square root of 5, then negative 1, then separate this one, so we have now 3 plus square root of 5, then negative 1, then the other one, 3 minus square root of 5, then negative 1. Then to simplify, this 3 plus square root of 5, so we have 3 plus square root of 5, that's 5.24. So this one is 5.24, then negative 1. Then the other one, so 3 minus square root of 5, so 3 minus square root of 5, that's uh, 0 0.76. So this one is 0 0.76, then negative 1. So these are the coordinates of co vertices. So we have now the center, the vertices, the foci, and the co vertices.